Hello everyone. Well, this is Madonna's vacuum of choice. In fact, she sung a song all about this vacuum cleaner. Now, you might not think it was about this vacuum cleaner, but trust me, I have it on good authority that the Vogue song by Madonna was about the Vogue from Hoover. Yeah, a little bit of a snippet for you. Um, I only got to find out when Madonna was an English lady. Do you remember that phase? She came over and married an Englishman and, and did the hunting, shooting and the fishing bit, you know? I don't know where she is now. But if she's watching, I'm sure she'll love to see this Hoover Vogue again. This has come from uh, a fellow collector, Daniel. And I think he's shown it on his channel a while ago <clears throat> because I did have a look at that video. The motor is a bit iffy apparently, but I have another motor that might fit. So we'll have to see. One extension tube, plastic, quite rigid, uh, friction fit, as seen on the Hoover Galaxy and uh, some Ariannes, etc. Micro space might have had that, I think. A hose. In, yeah, the hose is in very good condition, um, as is the end here, but you can buy, I've seen on Amazon only yesterday, if I'm that fussy, you can actually still buy this, you can buy the complete hose, I'm not sure in this colour though, I've seen it in black, but you can certainly buy this particular part, it might benefit from a bit more of a clean up, you know, a little bit of fine tuning. <coughs> Ah, enjoy the Vogue, Roger. Yes, um, it's Daniel. His channel is Pneumatic Rule. Is it Pneumatic Rule 29? Anyway, I'm sure he, he likes pneumatics, I think, mainly. Does Daniel. Um, I think he, that's his favourite brand. So here's the um, other tube, other wand, with the little parking uh, bracket thing on it there. What's that? Here's a contour nozzle. You can still buy these, surprisingly enough. I've just ordered one from Amazon for about £9. Um, it's more or less the same as this one. I, thought, I don't know if it says Hoover Contour. So what I might do with the new one, because that is a bit beaten up, I might just take the base plate from the new one and possibly the brushes and fit them onto this, because I do like the original Hoover Contour lettering on this because I'm pretty sure I bought them before like this I'm pretty sure they don't actually say anything on them so I do like the bit of branding this is the more basic contour nozzle the earlier versions had a little window here to show you if you've selected carpet or hard floor so pedal pedal down for hard floors pedal up for carpets Oh, nice bit of bedding there. I actually use um, old bedding myself when I'm storing vacuums as, as a shroud, keeps the dust off. So I might reuse this to uh, you know, wrap around maybe an upright because it looks like it's a sheet. It's a fitted sheet. But for smaller vacuums, I, I use pillowcases, old pillowcases just to wrap the cleaner in first to give it an extra bit of protection for storing. Now, let's get this off. Oh, it's, it's in pretty good nick, as Daniel described. So, I had oh, two Vogues. I never had this one back in the day. Let me move this out of the way. Always bugs me when I'm watching my videos back. I always have to watch them once to check they're okay. It always bugs me that there's mess in the background. I don't like it. Ah. So it looks like it's arrived in one piece. Oh, it's lovely. Yes, I had um, two Vogue cleaners in my collection, but I never had the red one. This, the red one is the base model. Then there was the mid range, which was the white. I believe it was electronic. I remember getting that from Index. Remember Index, folks? I remember buying that white one from Index. It was when I used to work for Littlewoods 
who were part, well, Index were part of Littlewoods, and I got staff discount. And so I remember going, I think I went to Leeds to get that because they didn't actually have it in York. Um, a white Vogue, it looked lovely in white. And it also had the top model, which I'm sure is very, very rare. The top model was in a sort of a brownie colour and it had electronic um, remote control, but it was wired. So there would have been a power takeoff socket here and um, you'd have to connect the wire to the swivel top hose and then you had the handheld remote. It never came with a power head version, which was a shame because the versions this replaced, this basically replaced the boxy compacts. If you want to know what a boxy compact looks like, I've got one on my channel, that brown model that came with the broken wheel. Uh, that did have a power head version, the total systems, but they never did, for the UK anyway, they never produced a power head. One of these with a turbo 300 power head would have been absolutely fantastic. So, but this is just a Vogue 1100 Auto Flex. Um, I'm not sure if the, uh, the, the other ones, there was a thousand watt one. I think this is the base model. I think it is. So it takes Sensortronic bags, H7 I believe, always put some spares in, thank you, thank you Daniel. These are the old classic Sensortronic, these are set, well these are for the later Sensortronics, these boxier style, not, not the more smooth style, these were the um, 89 I think they were launched, this Sensortronic. They're reusable. Uh, there is a bag clip, but that's not the correct one. I'll have a look at that. So just the twin layered bag these use. I'm gonna have a look to see if you can get fleecy bags for this, because I think they would improve the performance somewhat. Here's the pre-motor filter. I think Daniel's put a, a non-genuine filter in there. But in readiness, I knew I was getting this, I have bought and they have arrived a pack of two filters uh, that I could still get hold of. So I've got a genuine pre-motor filter that will go in there. And I've got the post-motor filter as well. And this particular Vogue also gave you a little slot. And there we go, don't want to tip it too far, the bag door will slap on my fingers. The little slot there for the air freshener. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, this is not, I think that could be genuine Hoover. I think I'm, I'm lacking one of those. I think that is a genuine Hoover bag clip, but it's obviously for the likes of the Turbo Power and Turbo Masters. The compacts and Sensortronics cylinders, they would have had a slightly longer one, but you know, it'll do the job for now. This is exactly the same bag holder as the Sensortronics had, the boxy Sensortronics. So in that goes, lovely jubbly. On the back here, under this, it just reminds me of a, a motorcycle helmet, this black smoked, you know, I can just see a red motorcycle helmet with this black smoked part on it. It will look much nicer. It will polish up quite well, I think. It's in very good, no deep scratches I can see so far. It's got its full, set of cleaning tools which all look genuine litter pickers have gone but that's no no great shakes i'm not bothered about that i love that nozzle even without the litter pickers that to me is the best style of upholstery nozzle hoover have ever produced in my opinion it's nice to use i think mr watson mr sam watson from becker 1987 channel I think he likes this nozzle as well I'm sure I've heard him complimenting this nozzle it's better than the one that's got the brushes at the back that they have produced um, for some uprights yeah that's in very good condition dusting brush and a little bit more used crevice tool but well, that's still you know I'm very happy I'm expecting the motor to sound rough but I'm just glad I've got a Vogue, you know, they're not, they don't pop up on eBay very often, Vogues. And again, he's popped in, looks like it's a Miele, why not? It's probably better, probably better than a Hoover one, but it's, he's cut a, a Miele filter by the looks of that. So this is the exhaust filter that slots into that little cassette thing there, look. 
and then it goes into here. It actually vents from the side, so that pops in there. And you've got two vents either side. The exhaust there comes out. Nice big bumper, two big wheels, or well, largish. Swivel caster, and that's your slot for your. I think it's just got the old. Um, it's not got the. It's just like a storage bracket, really. That you pop the old contour nozzle on. Um, I don't think it has the parking. No, it doesn't have the parking bracket on this. Just just has the old storage. And you can see how it's based on the old compacts. It's basically got the boxy compacts bottom half here and they've just made restyled a new top for it because you can just see if you can see in the light you can see that circle that's where the original hose would have been on the um, previous generation of compacts so you've got on off auto cord um, I think that's blank doesn't look like I think that's just a blanking piece but on the more deluxe models that would have been a thermal cutout indicator so if the machine overheated I believe there would be a red light you've got the regular piston style bag check indicator what's moving about in there what's making that rattle there's something rattling in there what is it oh it's, oh, it's probably just the uh, probably does that isn't it yeah oh it's that yes is there a date wheel I can't see I can't remember when these were launched um, well it's the 90s sometime in the 90s let's have a quick look at the old rating plate here rating sticker so it's a Hoover model SCO36 003 uh, 1100 watts 50 Hertz number 3010255 made in France so let's listen to this rough motor then ah, it's got um, I think everything here is original I don't think uh, anything's really been done with this it's got um, a regular style of flex of mains leads not like the flat style that some Hoover cleaners had that sounds quite smooth let's hope it rewinds okay Ah, now I think that's been, you see, they didn't used to do that on um, earlier cleaners, put put a little thing on to stop you pulling it out. So I don't know if that's been put on because there's a bit of damage or it was on there, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter if that's the case anyway. I'll just wind it back in a little bit. Now, it might switch on, I'm not sure. When I plug it in, let's turn it off at the wall first. Right. No. Nope. Let's see how rough this motor sounds. Now that sounds better than I was expecting. Now it sounds okay, but it doesn't smell okay. It has got a burning smell and I believe Daniel said it, the motor sparks. Um, so I'll have, a, have another look at that. As I say, I've got a spare motor. It's a Sensortronic motor, but it says it fits compacts as well. So it is possible, and I think it's a thousand watt motor, so it'll be okay in this. I'll just pop that on if I can line it up. There we are. Nice swivel top. Nice little cleaners, these. Very nice. I'll run it for a little bit longer. I don't want to run it for too long. I'm going to open it up in this video if I've got to. Uh, let me just check. Oh. Naughty. <laughs> Where do you open these? Oh, I thought there'd be. Um... Oh. I think you might have to take. I won't open it up. <laughs> there is a screw. There is a screw at the back. Oh, it's one of those start. I've got a set of screwdrivers that fit uh, these type of screw heads. So I won't today then because it's probably a bit more involved. It's not as easy to get into. I have a feeling I've got to carefully lever off 
the on off button and the um, cord rewind the other compacts I've had have, have just been much easier to get into this one is a little bit more difficult I'll, I'll check with Mr Watson um, about that so I won't show you this this is like pre-refurb I do plan on um, doing something with this but I'm really pleased with it it's as described this is in very nice condition right I'll just do it a quick quick go yeah it's it does sound I think more or less how it should but it's yeah it's probably on its way out I'm afraid I don't know if it can be revived Anyway, that could be another one for Sam to fix. Ah <laughs> oh dear. I think I'm going to keep him very busy. If he's willing to do the work for me. Sure he will. If the price is right, I'm sure Sam can be bought. I just uh, waft a nice vintage vacuum under his nose. He might just do this up for me. Or if he prefers the hard cash, he can have that too. Well, instead of. Right, check on the old uh, cord rewind, see if Hoover have improved them. Go on. Yeah, not bad. So it's, it's, the cord's going to be a bit... Uh, if the cord was coming out straight, it would go in straight, but... Um, yeah, there we are. Really pleased with that. It wasn't too expensive. It's on auction on eBay. Um, I can't remember how much I paid to be honest but it wasn't an excessive amount whoops come here you so there we go so Madonna there's your old Hoover Verg. I think Madonna would have had the top of the range model though wouldn't she with the remote control she wouldn't have gone for the base model not Madonna she'd have gone for the old uh, remote control and the chrome tubes she would have had the money of course back then with uh, she was very popular back back when this was in the shops with her vogue single and her pointy bra right so there we are thanks again daniel for that that's very nice i'm really pleased to have a hoover vogue 1100 auto flex if you have any comments or questions about the hoover vogue please comment below and i'll see you all very soon for the next video bye for now